Hey guys, it's me, Lisa for the Tarot. I'm incredibly bored right now. Because it's late. Well, it's almost the nine, but yeah. Today we went to Target and my mom let me get this movie. I bought it with my own money. As you can t already tell, it's Barbie and Rock and Royals. I really loved it. You know, some people say that it's like another version of The Princess and the Pop Star slash Popper. I don't care what you say. I, it's a very good movie. The moral is very cute. Rock your own story. Which is very cool and it fits the movie's theme because I will read it in the back so you don't get any, any spoilers. Raise your voice. Get ready to rock in this. You cannot see that upbeat musical. Please focus. Barbie stars as Princess Courtney. Hold on a sec. See if this is any better. No, it is not. A wall of screen. Barbie stars as Princess Courtney. Yes, they reused that name again. I'm a little flustered the way they reuse names a lot. A um, modern princess whose world is turned upside down when she switches places with Erica, a famous rock star. Some people say a pop pop star, the others are saying rock stars. I'm just going to go with what the movie says and do rock star. Two different worlds collide when a mix-up, yes. Since Princess Courtney to Camp Pop and Erica to Camp Royalty. While the leaders of the rival camps, now they aren't rivals technically, but something from the past caused the leaders of the camps to become rivals. I'm not going to spoil why. So if you don't want anything to be spoiled, please go watch the movies. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to spoil anything. Try to fix the mix-up. Correct the mix-up. Both Courtney and Erica, yet to reuse Erica's name again, learn to adjust to the different worlds and have fun while making new unexpected friends. When the girls learn that one of the, both camps are at risk of shutting down due to something happening, which I won't spoil again, they must embrace the differences, find their true voices, and come together for an epic singer. That shows anything is possible and you dare to dream big. That's why I love it. So it says, anything is possible when you dare to dream big. No little fun fact. Erica's hair was never completely blue in the movie. So yeah. And they added a new language to English DVDs. It's now Portuguese. Um, If one of you guys can tell me if it's Brazilian it, or European, let me know because for Spanish they did Latin and on this one video I found like frozen in American languages, Brazilian was the Portuguese was chosen for Portuguese so if you can tell me if it's Brazilian or European Portuguese in the comments below I'd really appreciate that and of course we've got our returning phase Latin, Spanish, and then just regular French because Barbie dubs are only done in one, are only done in one French, unlike Disney, so. And then it is What If I Shun, the bonus features are What If I Shun Remix, which I don't like, I prefer the original version, and Raise Our Voice, which I like, I just like. For those of you who want to know my top four songs, my fave songs, or just my top five, spoiler alert. <clears throat> I'm not going to spoil alert them, the song name. I'm going to tell you the song names because you probably already know them by now. But my number one is Finale Mashup. My second one is What If I Shine Courtney's Version. Unlock Your Dreams. Then Find Yourself in the Song. And then Raise Our Voices. I don't know why. This Raise Our Voices is kind of interesting because one of the lyrics the song Kind of just really stood out to me. I do care about the other songs, such as When You're a Princess, 
Brandy said I found pretty adorable and fitting the movie's plot. So, yeah. And then, what if I shine remix? I just don't like it. I mean, it's not bad, but they just, I don't know. Then the most adorable pick ever. I, if you want me to upload the songs, I will try to, to make sense. YouTube's not as picky as, with some of their stuff with third party content. With Barbie stuff. So, but if you do want me to upload the songs, I will do that. They will just be in low quality to the fact I don't have a program that lets me take stuff. Like, or like a little capture thing to make it good quality. And once again, if any of you have Barbie the Magical Pegasus in Brazilian, Portuguese, and good quality, like, deep, like, if you're watching a movie on a TV or something, quality, I don't care if it's in parts or not, if you could upload that to YouTube for me, please, I'm a little worried about the one I found that had all the audio, just a different pitch, because the one I found earlier had the audio, but some parts got cut off, so... But yeah, I don't care if it's in 3D or not. I just can't find a place that has it on Amazon or eBay that has Brazilian, Portuguese, or Latin Spanish DVD. So please help me out. And I really love Rockin' Royals. Here's it without its little cover. And then here's a little sequin -y thing. I will review this movie on my backup. And I am dreading this, but I decided if we reach 95 subs, I will review this movie. Yes. I will force myself to sit down and say good things about Barbie and Princess Power. In my opinion, it's one of the... It's a good movie... But it's just not what I'd sit down and watch over again. Over and over again. So comment, like, subscribe, bye. And I'm really excited about the next two upcoming movies. They look pretty interesting. For those of you, spoiler alert, for those who don't already know. They are, there's one, we got one more movie coming out this year for Barbie. It's Barbie and her sisters in the Great Puppy Adventure. I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's cute they're doing the little family having Barbie sisters again. And I wish they would change Chelsea back to Kelly. And bring back Chantel Strand. And have Ken with dark hair, with brown hair again. That was my childhood. I'm kidding. I don't care. But yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, bye. And thank you. And I really can't wait to review Rock and Rolls. And if we reach 95 subs, I will review Princess Power. Only if we reach 95 subs. But I have to spot it first. Because if I spot that we have 96 subs, it's not going to happen. So I have to catch myself with 95 subs. Can I subscribe by? And if you want me to review Princess Power, you better tell people to get... Better tell those other two people... Three people to subscribe. Bye.